All right, all right, all right, we're back. I'm Strategic Selena. I'm here to bring you all your tips, your tricks, your strategies you need to dominate at Mobile Gaming. With that being said, let's get into some Clash Royale today. On the main account, Solar Man, I'm using my regular ladder play deck in challenges, having a lot of fun with it. This was my first challenge using it in a while. Went 9 to 3. Going to do a grand challenge next time. So believe that I could have gone 12 and probably won. One of these losses was legit, the other two were absolute BS, but let's get into some replays and then we will open up this chest. And you guys saw by the thumbnail, eventually we do play Katy Perry, which is pretty insane. I mean, no one was really expecting it. Gonna put this one in four times speed. Never place your furnace like that. Never place a defense like that in range of the RG. You know he's gonna snipe it down like a savage. I freaking love it. At one point in a loss that I did do, I placed the furnace too high. Got three musketeered by it. It was pretty intense. That was the one loss that I could actually accept. The other two were... Like I said, BS, he's got Lumberjack moving in, I have Musketeer, Ice, Wizard, deadly, deadly combo, but very susceptible to the Fireball, so that's why it's hard to play those both at the bridge at the same time, at least for me. I'm having a lot of fun with this challenge deck, I love that I can use it in challenges and in regular ladder play, obviously he could not handle the heat, look at that zap, can't even take it down, but I respected the oops on oops action, let's get into another one. Still really wishing I had the graveyard. This guy's going to be rocking a golem graveyard elite barbarians deck. That's something you're not usually, you know, looking for. Once you see golem graveyard, you're like, that's the push. There are no elite barbarians. Next thing you know, he's got elite barbarians. So it was deadly. It was deadly. I could not believe that it happened. Oh my goodness. I wish, wish I had the graveyard. Still dying to even just get it in my shop. Comment down below, how long has the graveyard been in the game? Because I have yet to have it in my shop, and I've never left Legendary Arena. I think that's pretty insane. I don't know about you guys, but uh, I want this thing. I'm sure the Electro Wizard's going to pop up as soon as he's in the shop, and I'll be able to get him, but of course the graveyard still isn't in there. Obviously, he could not handle the Royal Giant in the corner. Savagery Assassin play right there. His cannon was too far forward for it to even recognize on the Royal Giants radar and we take it down for the dub let's get into another one like I promised you guys we're going against Katy Perry probably the one and only the singer in the clan Rochambeau well let me tell you this crank it into four times speed Katy could not handle the heat of my deck it was a whole lot of fun she put up a good match props to her but she can't handle Sully, man. She can't handle the Royal Giant. She can't handle this deck. It's too much for her to even process. Oh, my goodness. Mega, on, Mega Minion on Mega Minion action was just going on there for you guys. I saw a lot of mirrored archers during this match. I don't know if it was really worth it. I was shutting them down pretty well. There it is again. But, I mean, she's going to do what she wants to do. If that's how she wants to play her mirror, that's how she's going to play. It was kind of predictable, though. I think she just mirrored her log there though for a second. 934 on her left, 1099 on my left. Getting some good swings off that goblin barrel, that mirrored goblin barrel. I was ready for it that time. Another goblin barrel, another goblin barrel, but I take it down for the dub. Let's get into another one. This match, this match is insane in the brain. All right, let's crank it into four times speed. Haven't had this happen. This is probably the second time ever this has happened to me. The first time being in ladder play when it did. But you guys are going to see how overtime can continue even when someone takes a tower. I mean, you're like, what do you mean? Sudden death? Someone takes a tower? It's supposed to be over, Strategic Sully, don't you know? I'm like, well, when they take it at the exact same second, it does continue even more into like a sudden, sudden death, which is absolutely insane. I really should have pulled the dub off here turned out to go into a very 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 long six minute match i could not believe it so we're going in overtime i got 350 on his right he's got 534 on my right so it's a very very tight match he places a good good cannon 178 left on his right he's got elite barbs ice golem coming from mine 171 74 on his left his zap does not take it his arrows do not take it the log zap happens at the exact same instant it's absolutely insane minute 30 left in sudden sudden death which is crazy 886 
I want to say there was one bad RG on my side, and that's why I lost that one right there. I should have Mega Minion first. Man, oh man, oh man, this match came close. I did not like doing a six minute draw, but it was better than a loss. So let's get into another one. So now we are going against who knows who from who knows what clan gonna crank it into four times speed. This is an oops moment for sure. My pinky places down an RG over there. Did not mean to at all, meant to play it on the left, ended up placing by the sword to the right. Terrible mistake. Terrible. Absolutely hated it. Especially because he's a lower level player. I should have just been smacking him up from the beginning. Very annoying when you accidentally play something, but it's going to happen from time to time. I don't know anybody that hasn't accidentally placed something somewhere they did not want to place it. Still took the left hand tower down. He's got 425 left on my right. He's fireball and zapping giant ice wizard mini packa. There's just so much action going on. I got Royal Giant in the corner. Taking shots. I absolutely love it. Furnace still my favorite defense in the game. It's my favorite defense in the game. I want you guys to comment down below. What's your favorite defense in the game? Why is it your favorite defense in the game? If any of you guys say Expos, I'm definitely not going to agree with you. If you say Mortar, definitely not going to agree with you. But the Furnace is my favorite. Second favorite defense, Tombstone. Love the Tombstone. I think the Tombstone is a fantastic defense, but I do love the first, the Furnace a lot. And if the Furnace wasn't still in the game, like, because it wasn't for a long time, I'd still be using that Tombstone that I used to. Occasionally, you'll see me use the Tombstone. Not often, though, because I love the Furnace. Let's get into another one. Speak of the Tombstone, I believe this is the match, but possibly it isn't. Let's crank it into four times speed. No, this isn't the match. There's, there's a point where I see a tombstone in the back it's absolutely insane couldn't even believe that's what the guy did so we're smacking Zandral up from Bin Tang my goodness I mean he just got he lost his tower it's gone it's gone forever he's never gonna find it again it's it's in the wind it's in the dirt it's in the dust all right he's got that pack of not getting one single shot off I freaking love it he's not playing good let's just put it like he's not playing good he's got a heavy deck that he isn't probably accustomed to. He's getting smacked up. He doesn't like it. Nobody likes getting smacked up. RG in the corner. I mean, this guy, he had no chance at surviving. Obviously, it's going to end in a three crown. Come on now. Let's get into another one. Uh, this match. Uh, Sparky. Sparky made an appearance in this match. And, you know, I'm not a fan of Sparky. Let's crank it into four times speed. My brother Sandman loves Sparky. That's what he rocks. My goodness. But this Sparky shot that's coming up is a BS man B I zapped that I zapped that why did it still get a sh no one knows no one knows why it still got a shot it's, it's, it's ridiculous couldn't believe it very pissed off from that sparky shot there's another close sparky shot miss that if it would have gone that way the match could have gone a different way but you know it didn't happen for Alexandro okay sparky couldn't do what he was supposed to do which which is shoot the shit ha, all day long look at that oh missed ya missed ya sparky good game though let's get into another one this is another opponent i respected i i enjoyed going against him it was a dirty deck i wasn't prepared for and i like those kinds of matches you know the things you're not expecting now when it's expo or mortar you can go after yourself because no one likes you but when it's Balloon Giant Freeze, you can get down with it. You're like, you know what? That was actually fun to even see happen. Now, was I going to let it happen again? Of course not. I'm not going to let it win. Why would I let him win? But the Furnace is my still my favorite defense. So I still want to hear what you guys are talking about down below. But like I said, look at that pull. I mean, the Furnace. It's what I needed to do. Obviously, the Giant Balloon Freeze is not going to happen again. I won't allow it to happen again. Fun to see the first time. But obviously, I have to take him down. For the dub, it wouldn't make sense to let this guy win with such a cheap, cheap move. Still a lot of fun to see, but he's not going to beat me with it. I'm not going to allow it. I can't stand it to happen. Obviously, that Ice Wizard is doing massive amounts of damage. Royal Giant at the corner for the dub. I freaking love it. I'm going to get into a couple more with you guys. Now we're going against Elvin. Oh my goodness, Elvin is uh, twitching out over there. Doesn't know what to pick. He's got the Ice Golem. Usually when I see the Ice Golem, I'm thinking Hog Rider thinking there's a hog rider behind it hog riders coming he didn't have the hog rider he's got that royal giant 
that Royal Giants a beast to deal with if not dealt with properly. Okay, you got to be ready for them. That's why I love having a defense. I've tried out decks without defenses. They're tough to manage. What I would say is the biggest weakness of this deck, the pump. That's the biggest weakness. That's my opinion. I played this deck a lot, especially. I'd say biggest, biggest weakness is the pump. Why? I don't have the miner. Don't have the poison. Don't even have the fireball. No, no do I have the rocket. Okay, there's nothing to really do that damage you need done to the pump. That's the biggest problem with this deck. One of my losses in this was because the dude had three pumps down. Three musketeers and three pumps. I mean, you can't expect to win with that. But that's just me. Biggest problem with the pump. Had to let you guys know if you're going to try the deck out. Let's get into one more. All right, now we're going against Bon Fon Landia. Okay, he's from Ghetto Gospel. And, you know, the, the, he's going to need the gospel after this. Because what did I tell you about the furnace? Now, was I ready with the log? No. Unfortunately, I wasn't ready with the log. I couldn't roll over that skeleton army. He's got the princess coming in. I got furnace to take out the princess because of those fire spirits. Again, I freaking love uh, the furnace. Okay, he's got some minions moving and he fireballs it down. It's a pretty even match. I'm up by about 300. Nothing too crazy, especially when it hasn't even gone into double elixir yet. Now, he had a good, good elite barbarian push to the right. His furnace, I mean... There was no chance to survive him, man. Play your furnace better, bruh. Come on, look at that royal gent. Smack, smack, smacking away at that tower. I absolutely love it. Another furnace down on his side. Elite barbarians, they couldn't handle it. Let's open up this chest. All right, so we're going to open up this chest right now. Nine and three, I... I'm going to go 12 with it. I want to. I need to. I, I, there's no way I can't. My goodness. Four rares is what we're guaranteed. 1,000 gold. I mean, for 10 gems, that's not bad. 48 cards. Maybe pop a legendary. That would be pretty huge. Four cards. Got that 1,000 gold. We got 14 goblins. Let's see what else we can get. 28 barbarians. I'm thinking four rares and a legendary. Let's see what we can get. Okay, we get five rockets. This is either going to be an epic or a legendary. We need the graveyard. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Ow. Oh. Oh, like I said, not my favorite defense. But we're going to start up a grand challenge right now. I'm going to try to get 12. I'm going to do my best. I love this deck. Let me show it to you guys one more time. There it is. With that being said, all my social media handles are right there. Boom, 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 boom. Links are down in the description. Check them out. And as always, thank you for watching. Subscribe down below. And I'll catch you all in the next episode.